First round coach, introduce yourself, and then we get started here. Ernest Collins, head football coach, University of Northern Colorado. He came out off to the, from the on the road, off the road, and down here to the south, yeah. brought the guys in from the mountains, <laughs> and they adjusted. Yeah. And especially in this humidity here in the state of Texas, talk about your team this evening and their performance, especially in that first half when they were able to, once they were able to bust the dam open and get going. Yeah, I mean for us, you know, you coming down south. My family's from Texas, so I, I kind of know what this heat is all about. But it, it's not about anything but hydration. You know, people, they don't hydrate and they sweat it all out and they start cramping. I just want to make sure it wasn't cramping, you know, toward the uh, halftime and end of the game. So, you know, we just came down, man. We had to, to weather the first half. You know, it was 6-3, 6-3, 6-3. Six we got our young punt returner who's from the state of Texas, you know, who ends up getting a, a punt return for us for a touchdown and kind of open it up and switch quarterbacks up a little bit and, and uh, got a new flavor in there. And, uh, you know, Jacob Nip started running the offense where he wanted him to run it, and uh, we, we got it going a little bit. Talk about that. Normally when you make changes on a quarterback, it's because something that transpires is not looking too well and you want to tweak something. And it's usually just before the halftime to kind of get get a feel of where, where your team is. But you make that, situa that, that change kind of – Early. Well, we, I mean, you know, I started. John, I mean, we, we got three quarterbacks that we trust. Okay. You know, on the right. football field, and, and Johnny was just a little off, you know, today. So it was a good time. Our defense was playing well, and so it was a good time for us to get Jacob Nip, who's a redshirt freshman for us, get him some reps in there. And, and he came in and he started running the offense. So we just stuck with him. Talk about your defense. They were able to pretty much get a read on everything that HBU was trying to get going in, in the first half, especially with uh, 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 not Dave, but. Uh, can't think of the kid's name, man. The starting running back for, for HBU. Mm -hmm. And you were able to pretty much bail. You were able to keep, pretty much keep a wrap on it. Yeah, I mean, for us, I mean, last week we got ate up a little bit. We, You know, kid ran for 200 and something yards on us last week. Ooh. And, uh, you know, local kid. And so we, we, we focused on gang tackling. That was what we had to focus on gang tackling. Because it's not about one guy making a tackle. It's about nine or 10 or 11, whoever you can get to the ball. And so for us, we just focus on gang tackling. One of nine people within five yards of the ball 90% of the time. If you can get that, you're going to be all right. Second half, special teams got better, but you also were able to get some turnovers. What did you do different? What did you talk to them about at halftime? They kind of like. We, we really didn't. We, for us, I mean, our, our kids know we stress turnovers. We stress it all the time, every day in practice. They're trying to get five turnovers in practice every day, you know, and, and so they upset now that they went to lock them. They had four. They should have had five. We missed the interception down here. Um, but our kids, man, we're just trying to get them better every day. Just trying to get them playing relentless football. Everybody get to the football and let's have a party at the ball. And that's that's what we're trying to do. One last thing, uh, the conference you all play in and where you all are. Big Sky Conference to me. Oh, uh, one I know about it as far as basketball. I don't know about it as far as football. <laughs> it, it, football, my equi I always equate it to the SEC from top to bottom. We got six teams right now in the top 25 in our conference. And so it's, it's, it's I mean, day in, day out. You ain't gonna never get no cupcake. You're gonna have to go play everybody. Anybody in particular I would probably know from? You know, in our conference, you know, the Montana's, Montana State's, Eastern Washington, um, okay. those are the big ones right okay. there that, that have been traditionally pretty dang good. So, Well, Coach, if you don't have anything to say about your, your returner, you know, in his performance tonight, we pretty much are done here. All right, brother. Hey, we're just trying to get him better. All right. All right. Reintroduce yourself and we'll close this out. Ernest Collins, Jr., head football coach, University of Northern Colorado. This is Jerry Lee Woodley, Jr., the College Sports Report. Thank you.